Southeast Kentucky was brought to its knees last week by a flood that came straight out of Genesis. At least 37 people were killed. Hundreds are still missing, and the same communities left in ruins by the water are now being baked by the midsummer heat wave. Among the survivors is Chantella Collins, a mother of three who lost not only her house, but her wedding. She was set to get married last Saturday uh, and lost it all on this terrible, terrible flood. And Chantella joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I'm so, so sorry for what you and, and all your neighbors are going through. Um, how, how are you tonight? Where are you able to stay? Well, I actually got really lucky and got a two little a little two bedroom apartment. Um, it's kind of on a hill. My kids were really scared about being near water. And I mean, I can't blame them after this. So we have a two bedroom apartment that we're going to stay in just until we can get everything figured out. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. That's great uh, news that, that you have a safe place to stay. Um, do you know people who are still missing? Because I can't believe that it's still hundreds missing even at this point. I don't personally know anybody, but it's just, it's complete devastation everywhere. Yeah, the video, it's, it's terrible. And so tell me about your wedding. I mean, gosh, again, I'm so sorry. Um, what happened? You had it planned and then the flood happened? Yeah, I had all the decorations in the house. So they, you know, they floated away as well. Um, the venue actually flooded. I found that out the next day, the lady, that was over it, put pictures, you know, on Facebook, and that's how I seen that. And, you know, I'm lucky to be alive. We can have another wedding another time. I mean, it's devastating, but I'm just so thankful that my family is okay. Yeah, that you're right. That's a, that's a really good way of, of looking at it. Are you going to just kind of reschedule for a later date? Yeah, we, we're not really sure yet, but we have talked about it some, so... It'll happen. I guess it just wasn't meant for last week. So we've been, uh, we, you've such a good attitude, by the way, Chantella. We've been reporting um, not only on the flood, but also the heat. What, what, I mean, how hot is it? Has it just been terrible? Well, it rained some earlier and it made it really humid. And I mean, there's people in tents right now because they have nowhere to go. And I can't imagine being in a tent and it being 100 degrees outside, you know. Yeah and trying to clean out these homes just to see if they can salvage anything. And I mean, having heat exhaustion, just trying to do that. It's just, it's unbelievable. Just yeah. complete devastation. I said it a couple of days ago. I mean, I've covered hurricanes and when, it, when 37 people die in a hurricane in Florida, it's like big news, the president shows up, you know, there's FEMA trailers for, for miles that roll in a couple of days later. It just doesn't seem like you guys are getting the same level of attention. Do you, I mean, are you getting, the, do you think people are getting the help they need? I mean, honestly, I think the government could probably do more. I mean, FEMA is here and they are bringing in, you know, the little campers and trailers for people to stay in, but it's just, we don't know what they're going to do, how they are going to help. You know, so many have applications in. I know earlier it was over 800 people were displaced that I know of. And, I mean, they're intense right now. So I just honestly think the government could do a little more. I mean, you know, I'm thankful that FEMA is here, the Red Cross is here. But, how you know, people have nowhere to go. How <sighs> long does it take the applications to go through? How did you find that apartment so quickly? A lady I work with, her brother actually owns them, and I guess someone was supposed to get it, and she never called him back, so he he let us get it. I mean, he didn't charge a deposit or anything. Wow, that's great. I'm just, I'm so glad to know that you and your family have a safe place to be tonight, and like you said, you can push back the wedding. I'm, I'm just glad that you guys are alive and okay, um, and, and we'll stay on this story. Like I said, I feel like it should still be in the headlines. I don't know why it's not. Uh, Chantella, thank you so much for coming on with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.